is going on everybody oh man i just almost dropped everything in the water what is going on everybody welcome back to another bama saltwater fishing episode we got some live shrimp we got some popping corks and hopefully we can get some trout if you haven't subscribed already go hit that subscribe button down below and let's get to fishing get me a live shrimp here I mean, i'm just gonna hook this shrimp all right and i'm just throwing this on a popping cork setup with the owner size one ssw hook a small split shot with about two and a half feet of 20 pound cigar fluorocarbon and a popping cork most people know how to work a popping cork and if you don't it's in its name you pop it we're gonna get this cast out and see if we can find some trout it's out here ah, oh a little too far oh good cast Let's see if we can get us a trout or redfish and with these popping corks if you're using live shrimp you want the live shrimp to do most of the work that's the whole point of using live bait but every now and then you can just give it a little pop pop and just let it gurgle on the surface for a little bit and then let it sit and let your live shrimp do the work oh you got one set the hook set the hook is it good is it big mom's got oh, something what is it oh mangrove mangrove snapper that's the first. Don't catch too many of them in here. All right, mom got a mangrove snapper. Now you do have to have a refish permit if you plan on keeping them, and they do have to be 12 inches total length. This one's too small, so we're gonna throw them back. Cool. You don't see too many of them in here. Flounder and mangrove snapper, my top two favorite fish to eat. Is it big? It's too small. It's so small. Is that what is that? Another uh, another mangrove snapper. That's not a keeper but still a pretty fish. Check it out. <laughs> they got like some... I feel like I need to mark it. <laughs> <laughs> they got some pretty teeth on them. Look at... Oh, they got some sharp them. teeth on them. They don't call them snapper for no reason, so... There you go. Keep going. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Was that pelican about to die bomb? No. Oh, yeah, he wants to. They stealing your bait? We'll fix that. I think I need a new shrimp. Yeah. I definitely need a new shrimp. Oh, left side of the troll motor. Oh, there you go. What is this one? Trout? Oh, that's a catfish. That's all you. <laughs> that one's all you. <laughs> I need my pliers. Something? What is that? That is a catfish. <laughs> I'm quit. How do I get home? <laughs> Crap. <laughs> I think we're in a bunch of croaker. That's what it is, is a bunch of big croaker. I bet that's what it is. And we're going to let this feed until I hook it. I'm going to let it feed for it. You got one? <laughs> it's a catfish. Is it a catfish? How do you know? It's fighting pretty good. Ooh, I'm, I got one. That's not a catfish. Yeah, it is. is croaker. Told you. Oh. Big croaker. Or not big, but. Better than a catfish. All right. So, mom just got into a croaker. We're going to let that one go. But you could eat them and you could use them as good cut bait. So, cool. We can go try another spot. Where I know there's okay. trouts in it. Mom's got one. Decent? That one's decent. Oh, I have one too. Unless it's yours. <laughs> is that my fish? Uh-uh. I don't know where your fish is. I think I might have lost it. No. no. Wow, that's a decent, that's a redfish, isn't it? It is. Oops. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Not too bad of a hook set. Uh -uh. Okay, so mom just got a nice little bitty redfish. Better than a catfish. So, yeah, it is better than a catfish. Still too small, so we're gonna let them go back. Yeah. But good job. Thank you. Yeah, let's go to our trout spot. We're going to our trout spot. I caught enough fish to last. That noise. Whoa! Trout! Oh my Big trout. Gosh, I heard that. 
<laughs> I was about look at that. That's a decent little trout too. That's a good one. That's a good one. That one's got some shoulders on it. Oh, that's Ooh, yeah, need the net. Oh, uh, right here, under my tackle box. And then scoop it. There you go. Good job. That's a keeper if we wanted to. Sit here, slap it. Yeah. Look where he's hooked at. He's barely hooked. That's a stud trout. Oh, man, what a beautiful trout on this big old Yozuri. Five inch hydro pencil. Just got this beautiful speckled trout. So we're going to toss it back. We're not keeping fish, but this would be illegal fish if we were. There you go. <laughs> Sweet first cast in our trout spot here. We're right as the sun's setting. This spot usually gets on fire because there's a big drop off. It goes from like two feet to like six feet instantly. And these fish love hanging around there. So Sweet. Call it that nice speckled trout. Let's see if I can get another one. They usually school up when they're that size. All I did was pause the bait too. I was about to reel it in and then boom smacked it look this where i stopped it right here and just smacked the heck out of it it'd be funny if it did it again actually someone cast out in the middle hey oh, oh my gosh i got something good hey i got something good I'm looking at yours and I got me a good fish on. This is a trout, I bet. Yeah, it's a trout. <laughs> no, I can flip them. Look, <laughs> here he is. Oh, man. Out in the middle. Come on. Come on, boy. Ow, slap me. <laughs> All right, what a beautiful speckled trout. Let's get it back in the water since we're not keeping it. There you go. Swim another day. I'm gonna cast where you are. You got one? No. Oh, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a this is a good one. This is a good one. Yeah, get ready for the net. This is probably a good spec. This is a decent fish here. Come on, it's coming in quick. Okay, I see it. On the left, I may have to go around it. Here it is. Nice. Oh, that's one. That's a nice speckled trout. Hold on, hold on. That's a nice one. You got him? That one's got some soldiers on him. <laughs> Look where that hook is. Awesome. All right, just caught this beautiful 21 inch speckled trout. So we're going to get him back in the water, but check this pretty fish out let's get them back in the water i'm not keeping fish so i don't want to keep them out of the water that long and there it goes appreciate you <laughs> man that was a beautiful fish let me clean this lens off real quick all right what a great freaking day it started out really slow but as soon as that sun goes behind those trees the bite picks up awesome so and it looks like mom <laughs> just missed another one but i caught uh two trout had another one blow up on my top water and missed it but you can't complain about catching nice speckled trout, especially coming up to 21 inches. And then mom had a couple mangrove snapper and catfish and croaker. So pretty big variety. But I appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If, if you have, I appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, that big thumbs up for me as well. Down in the comment section, comment if you would much rather throw lures or if you're a live bait person. Let's keep that comment section going. But like I said, I appreciate you watching. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything does for us. And we'll see you later.